welcome to Ecosystem 2030. Uh, first, we'd like you to introduce yourself, please. Of course. Well, uh, this is Ahmed Jadallah. I'm, uh, I'm originally a doctor in medicine, but currently founder and CEO of Five Science Institute and Bernardo to AI. Um, one of them, we work in the field of deep tech education and applied research at Five Science. Uh, we're very honored that we're strategic partners with the summit here, and my biotech startup works in the field of um, bioinformatics and, uh, and biomedical research. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, what trend do, ecosystem do you see is developing in your industry in the future? Um, well, definitely biotech is, is being massively changed today. Mm -hmm. um, with the emergence of artificial intelligence, um, big data, especially in the field of biotech, um, we, can, uh, we can clearly see the impact of this in genomics data and, um, and the impact of that on precision medicine. Mm -hmm. You know the priority today in healthcare is to paving the path towards precision medicine. And um, like precision medicine is to try to target each patient with a tailored diagnostic plan and mm -hmm. a tailored treat treatment and therapeutic plan. Mm -hmm. And to achieve this, uh, you would require massive uh, implementation of technology, especially in from fields like artificial intelligence, big data, blockchain technologies recently, mm -hmm. and, um, and how you would deploy that and trying to leverage the massive genomic data that we're getting from humans today mm -hmm. and to take that to the next step in developing therapeutic and, and diagnostic applications as mm -hmm. well. What about the opportunities, uh, Yanni, do you see is arising as a result of these technology or business? Well, of course, there are massive opportunities happening, you know. You know, there's a study I was reading before coming here, like startups in Boston alone, um, they could be able to fundraise more than 13.7 billion in one year. Mm -hmm. And if this is an indicative number, it is an indicative number of, of the opportunities that developments in biotech are opening to scientists, professionals, and, and other experts in the field. Yeah. Um, so today we're seeing a shift and how medical doctors themselves, they're, being deploying, they're, being, they're becoming experts in deploying technologies in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing um, on the computational side, like AI experts and computational scientists, they're coming and deploying their expertise as well in reshaping healthcare. Mm -hmm. Okay, then um, how can business uh, take advantage of these opportunities? Well, yes. Well, you can see that these opportunities are a result of applied research. And when we say applied research, it means that it has a direct impact on society. And when science has a direct impact on society, it has massive business opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you would see like um, the biotech revolution that we're currently living and COVID accelerated that yeah. is merely because of the deployment of all of these research results in the business realm and trying to deploy all of these solutions and transfer them to patients, um, to, 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 to people everywhere. And with that comes massive business opportunities in, in the different sectors of biotech, mm -hmm. on the therapeutic side, in like drug discovery, um, new, um, new therapeutic modalities, on the diagnostic side, maybe with, um, with like um, um, uh, biomarkers for certain diseases, um, imaging, uh, AI is playing a huge role in imaging, so this is on, diagnostic, in, on the diagnostic side, and on the day-to-day -day life of humans as well, mm -hmm. and how, and like, in, in smart wearables and uh, smart patches and all of that. So it has yeah. massive business implications when it's applied the right way. Yeah, what about the challenge that you see is arising as a result of these trends? Hmm. Well, of course, there are the most challenges that are related to biotech and healthcare are, really, are mostly um, related to patients' data and privacy. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a big challenge. And, uh, and, and um, so it, it needs to be addressed properly. And this is where, like, by the way, advances in blockchain are playing massive roles in patients' privacy. Uh, that's one. Two, uh, you would see like uh, there's massive challenges in regulations and FDA approvals for certain applications. Mm -hmm. That takes a huge amount of time. Like you would see, like approvals and regulations in other industries are much faster than healthcare because yeah. we're dealing with patients, we're dealing with patients' data, and that's something very dangerous not to be properly regulated. So these are mostly the biggest challenges in the industry we're working at. Mm -hmm. What about, Yanni, uh, how could we overcome these challenges then? Well, definitely. Collaborative work, 
for research. That's, mm-hmm. that's definitely one, one very important aspect of it. So today you would see like many, um, many entities across the globe are trying to put these regulations in, in, in place um, from the most advanced regulations like CRISPR and gene technology and editing genes. You would see that there is, there is a huge work trying to regulate all of that process. Um, um, some other entities are mostly concerned with making these regulations and approvals faster um, in this industry. So how we can like make the if the approval short life cycle much faster, right? Because you wanna you wanna get this drug to patients. You wanna get this um, this diagnostic application to patients. So maybe this early screening would prevent them from having this disease in the future. Mm-hmm. So all of these efforts are being played just to overcome these challenges. Yeah. Thank you.